Uh, good morning to students actually. Uh, this will be uh, purely on understanding the understanding the relations between science energy and development. This is uh, particularly to the Indian context uh, theorization. So, uh, like I would like to uh, start with the very idea of uh, how the science, energy, and development is constructed in Indian context. Okay, so I'm going to explore a kind of in the theoretical debates uh, which explores the relations between the science, energy, and development. The first, the theoretical understanding is that which deals with. Development as technocratic project. The second understanding, the second theoretical premises of the relations between the science, energy, and development, which deals with public engagement. Of science, energy, and development. In this particular class, I will be more focusing on the first premises of the theory that deals with uh, development as a technocratic project. In the next class, I, I would like to more focus on the public engagement of science, energy, and development. Okay. First, I would like to explain the term development followed by the term what this technocratic project means. Then later I will be like getting into the theoretical premises of uh, the science, energy, and development. Well, first, the very idea of what is development, what do we mean by the development is that uh, always the term development is equated with uh, another term is progress. We say progress, which means it uh, refers to achieving a desired end. to two different aspects. Number one is that it's purely denoting the material aspect of development. The second one is the non-material aspects. The material aspects refers more to it, or we try to understand the material aspects in a more economic sense. Compared to non material in socio cultural and the political sense. So when you understand the development in economic terms. What do we mean by that? First, it refers to the growth. For instance, the growth of an economy in terms of the GDP, gross domestic product, or GNP, gross, gross net product, or it also refers to, for instance, in terms of an industrialization, Third, in terms of technology development, fourth, in terms of increase in personal income, so the 
material sense which refers to the monetary monetary plus it also refers to the technology developments technology plus the infrastructure development okay on the other hand if you look at what is the non material aspects of the progress is that you refer the progress in a more kind of a, the social cultural sense you understand for instance the the social aspects of uh, what are the social aspects of the uh, development which means if you look at it uh, it all it refers to for instance the sense the sense of belongingness the sense of belongingness or the security it also refers to for instance the love and affection okay on the other hand the process it also refers to the process of secularization on the other hand if you look at what is the political sense of uh, development is that uh, uh, you are trying to increase the social opportunities Number two, the public participation. Participation, freedom, availability of choice. is all which refers uh, to a kind of in the political aspects of uh, uh, understanding the uh, development or the progress so the progress is that it's not only like we are more focusing on the material aspects of our life but also the non material aspects of the life okay so the development which which not only it refers to the improvement in the monetary system or improvement in the economic system but also the development which refers to improvement in the social system as a whole the social system which refers to an economic social political systems okay here for instance we used to say that uh, A development as a growth. So, if you look at a development as a growth, we try to understand it in terms of this: that growth of GDP, GNP, industrialization, or the technology development, increase in uh, personal income, or for instance, uh, 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 increasing the accessibility of goods to the people. These all are part of uh, you are trying to understand that uh, the development in terms of an economic sense or in terms of an growth but at the same time if you look at uh, development in terms of for instance uh, modernization if you look at the development in terms of a modernization within the modernization you try to look at in terms of a social sense you are trying to understand when you try to understand the social sense okay uh, or the social realm of an understanding is that uh, it refers to for instance uh, it is also refers to the process of uh, secularization okay or it's it refers to the process of for instance uh, uh, you are trying to like uh, and look at the sense of belongingness how people are, are uh, together uh, in a, in a in a given situations okay or it also refers to for instance uh, uh, uh it also refers to the process of an, uh, the, the, the debate which comes between the uh, collectivization versus the individualization or the tradition versus uh, the modernity uh, debates okay on the other hand if you look at what is the political sense the political aspects of the development is that how far the social opportunities have increased whether all are irrespective of irrespective of the class caste creed okay whether the social opportunities have increased or not whether the public participations in a collective life whether it's increased or not okay or the freedom or the liberty we enjoy or do we have the right to like agitate do we have the right to participate uh, in the public life and on the other hand which is also refers to the availability of choices how far we have a different set of choices whether we are uh, 
each individual is able to make a choice in a given context or not. This is something which is we refer to a kind of an, uh, uh, try to understand it in, in development in, in terms of in the political sense. Okay, so what is here, which, which is referred here is that uh, this is more development in terms of social sense, in the development in terms of growth, uh, and then the development in terms of, for instance, uh, uh, trying to look at the development in, in terms of the change and transformation. Change and transformation. So the change and transformation refers to the change in the socio-economic and cultural and political systems, okay, or political institutions. Uh, collectively just called as the development as a change and the development as a transformation. This is this is how we, we try to understand uh, the development. At the same time, uh, when when the progress happens, when the idea of the progress happens, okay, we are also trying to understand uh, the development in terms of improving in the quality of life, whether the quality of life has improved or not. Okay, so the quality of life, when, when this happens, the quality of life, we try to understand it in terms of whether the standard of living has improved. So the standard of living in terms of, what is that? Life expectancy. The level of education. Improved healthcare system. And then the income level. So this all is something which we refer to the uh, improvement in the standard of uh, living. On the other hand, it also refers to that you are trying to like take the goods, uh, the basic goods uh, to to all the citizens of this uh, particular country. So it is also you are you are trying to improve the accessibility, accessibility and affordability. affordability for basic goods for instance uh, uh, food cloth shelter water energy is not something which is a kind of a very very uh, basic necessities for the uh, life so then we are able to take those goods to the last citizen of this particular country or not then it, it becomes a part of the quality of uh, life uh, understanding here okay on the other hand uh, what is what is the need of uh, like trying to discuss this particular topic of development as a technocratic project is that uh, uh, we move on to the next level of understanding is that uh, we are also trying to look at a kind of a discontent there is a kind of an increase in the level of discontent as well as dissatisfaction discontent and dissatisfaction to the life world happens so what are how this discontent and dissatisfaction how this discontent and dissatisfaction reflected in the life world is that uh, you try to look at in terms of for instance a good example referred you try to look at that the social aspect of the uh, development and on the other hand the economic aspect as well as the political aspects So for example is that uh, the social aspects are there, that now these days you will be able to look at that a lot of, uh, for instance, the individualization, the process of a good example, this is kind of an example, through the more the individualization, what happens is that uh, the family disintegrates, uh, there is no like a kind of a closed relations which we have with uh, uh, each and every one of us. At the same time, the love and affections decreases. So this is a part of a kind of a look at that uh, uh, we are able to progress. We are able to progress in terms of an economic sense. Okay, uh, for instance, uh, the income level is increases. But at the same time, if you look at that, uh, uh, what is happening to our uh, individual life is that uh, we are more and more uh, becoming a kind of an individuals within the society. So on the other hand, 
Okay. On the other hand, a kind of dissatisfactions which comes into that, uh, 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 for instance, in the economic aspects of the life. What are the economic aspects of the life? Is that your income level is increased. Day by day, the income level is increased, but not uh, like the income level has been increased across the uh, class or kind of across the class equally, which has been increased. No, that there is a kind of an irregularity in the income level. Okay, when there is an irregularity in the income level, okay, one person is getting a kind of an 10,000 rupees, other person is getting a kind of an 1 lakh rupees, despite of getting a different levels of income, but there is no satisfaction towards what the one is getting as a kind of an income. For instance, the income is divided by, uh, decided by the kind of an, what kind of a commodity you want to buy. So, uh, day by day, for instance, uh, you will be able to get new set of technological innovations are coming into the market. So, when you look at the day by day, the technological innovations which comes into the market and you want to buy those uh, technologies, for instance, they have a cell phone, the mobile phone at the cost of and something which is coming up for 10,000 rupees and another immediately within a 6 months period of time, another new mobile, new models are going to come. Similarly, for instance, uh, TV, car and everything. So what you try to equate is that uh, you are trying to equate the income with the commodity, which commodity or the product market. So you always get a kind of in dissatisfaction that uh, despite of having the income but are not able to buy a particular uh, product and we look at the uh, income levels in terms of an, uh, uh, the market growth as well as the economic market and the economic growth which also was, uh, like uh, uh, try to project that uh, uh, only uh, the certain class, or for instance, the educated class or a kind of an upper class people, upper class and class people are able to grow in this economy. But the other communities, marginalized communities, are not able to come up. So on the other hand, you are also trying to look at the political aspects of it. For instance, in terms of equal social opportunities, participation in public life is being uh, denied, or a kind of an, uh, the liberty in terms of an, liberty, freedom one enjoys within a uh, particular society. So you are, we are not able to get uh, uh, the opportunities, the opportunities which, which each individual is uh, trying to look for or a kind of a liberty which one, one trying to look for. So they are not able to get uh, what they want. So immediately what happens is here is that the, uh, the, the question of a discontent and the dissatisfaction towards the life world happens. Okay, once the dissatisfaction happens and we will start questioning that uh, what is this uh, development is all about? What is this development is all about? Uh, then we start examining the very idea of uh, how the development structure is edifice, how the development structure is constructed in a given nation state. On the other hand, this is a very larger, broader idea of uh, uh, what is development, how development is uh, theorized. Okay, at the same time, uh, why we are discussing, what is making us to discuss uh, uh, the development right now. On the other hand, uh, uh, one has to understand the very process of uh, how this development model has been evolved over a period of a time. Basically, if you look at it, uh, uh, it's part of the technocratic project. What is this technocratic project is that uh, it is an expertized knowledge. The expertized knowledge is that ruled by a kind of an uh, specialized knowledge. That's what the technocracy, which means that means different set of uh, groups. The sign, the scientific community, plus industries, plus bureaucrats. On the other hand, the politicians. Okay. This is a part of the scientific community here, both equally referring to a, a scientist as well as to the social scientist. Okay. This is one of the peculiar group uh, or kind of a specific group uh, which guided the uh, evolution of uh, uh, the developmental ideas in India. So that means a kind of an, uh, it is purely a middle class aspirations.
middle class aspirations of uh, how an India is uh, supposed to be, how the nation state is supposed to be. Okay. Uh, so the technocracy, the reality of the technocracy is that the rule by a specialized knowledge. So when we refer to the big idea of uh, what is a development as a kind of a technocratic project is that one is supposed to understand the very uh, meaning of uh, uh, the development at the same time uh, how the very idea of this development is constructed okay or uh, it's being developed by a specific uh, relations or contractual relations between a different set of uh, groups that's the different set of uh, groups evolves uh, the developmental agendas for a specific country or a specific uh, context for a specific context okay so this is, this is just to, to give a kind of an overall uh, uh, exam overall the kind of an understanding of uh, what do we mean by development as a technocratic project but one has to go very deeper into the understanding of uh, uh, understanding of uh, science energy and development This is all a, a kind of an outer layer of uh, uh, a kind of an understanding of a development as a technocratic project. The deeper understanding comes here. The deeper understanding which comes here is that uh, when you when you look at that development as a kind of a technocratic project, okay, uh, we simply refers to two different things. Okay, one is I'm going to translate the same understanding into a different levels of an understanding. Okay, uh, go first. First is that the development as a technocratic project refers to two different fundamental elements. Number one is that it refers to the control. On the other hand, it is refers to the violence. So the violence aspect is, you, you should remember that the discontent. Discontent and the dissatisfaction. Okay. On the other hand, violence is also uh, denotes, for instance, unrest in the society. The very idea of what is this control is control which means which refers to regulating metaphors the metaphors which regulates a certain mechanism okay so or the metaphors which regulates the behavior How the behaviors of an individual, how the behaviors of an institution, for instance, for instance, it refers to a, from an institution to an individual. How the behaviors of an institution to an individual is regulated. On what authority, okay, on what grounds the institution as well as the individuals are uh, individual behaviors are controlled okay so here the very first fundamental idea the first premises here is that it's the idea of development apparatus this is the first Premise. So this control rests on the three different metaphors. Three different metaphors. The first metaphor is that it's a discipline. The second metaphor is that it's a means. The third metaphor is that it's the urgency. The first metaphor refers to a kind of a centralized authority.
centralized authority which controls the behaviors of the citizens. For instance, the centralized, centralized authority, an example of it, the constitution or the law, law which is the supreme of all. The constitution or the law which is the supreme of the law which controls or it creates the subject through which the subject formation happens. The very idea of the subject formation happens through the very idea of the centralization. On the other hand, what does this mean this refers to? The means refers to the instrument instrument of development instrument of development here the instrument of development divides into three different things one is about the resources The second one is about the knowledge. The third is about the technology. So the resources here is the physical and the biological. Okay. And this becomes part of a means or an instrument for the development. On the other hand, what does that urgency refers to? Urgency always refers to a kind of a post-colonial metaphors of time plus freedom. Time plus freedom. This urgency to a larger extent, actually it refers to the, the project and the process through which through which the government or the state implements implements the development agenda. First is that the subject formation happens. The second, you create a means through the subject formation happens and through which the instrument of development, you create a kind of a means and through creating the means, you start implementing it. This has become a kind of an ideological apparatus of the state in a more kind of an altruistic sense. or it becomes kind of a uh, uh, political justification political justification for the development of nation state so the primary idea is that we are trying to understand the very idea of uh, how the development apparatus has been evolved, uh, constructed in a given context, okay, or in a given nation state, and through which you are trying to understand that the idea of energy, the idea of energy here. Energy, how the very idea of energy is being implemented in Indian context is that it's a more kind of a debate which, which sparks here is that the centralization versus decentralization. So the centralization is the very idea is that it's more a kind of a, the grid connected.
which we try to prefer uh, in the Indian system rather than a kind of a uh, decentralized or a power which is being produced by all. The power being produced by all. So rather preferring into the decentralized mode of energy production, uh, India tried to prefer a very idea of the centralized mode of uh, power production, which this centralization, which is directly refers to the, the discipline or the control which we try to emphasize. The second idea is that, this is the second idea. So you're trying to look at, for instance, what is the means of this idea is that you look at the different set of resources. The different set of resources in terms of, for instance, coal, wind, solar, hydro, nuclear. So you can also further divide into the resources in terms of a kind of a renewable or non-renewable or conventional, non-conventional source of energy. But within that, the non-renewable source of energy got uh, most priority in all the policies which we will be able to see in the coming classes. First is that you try to look at what kind of resources you have. So the, the resources becomes an instrument of development. At the same time, you want to try to look at the instrument of development on the other hand, for instance, improving the manpower. So the manpower, developing the scientific and technical manpower happens through the technical education. So the very idea is that what kind of resources which are which were available or which are available accordingly we try to develop the manpower and trying to negate or trying to exclude or a kind of in, uh, uh, neglect the other sources of energy like uh, for instance uh, the solar or a kind of uh, the biomass uh, from literally from a kind of an uh, education the technical educations that means the predominantly the non-conventional conventional source of energy got more importance in technical education compared to the non uh, compared to the uh, non-conventional source of energy. Okay. So this becomes a kind of an instrument of development. This instrument of development is for what? It's for the industrialization. It's for the process of nationalization and urbanization. and the urbanization. So what is development? What is the very idea of a development is that it's about the discipline plus means plus urgency equal to development. This is a theory. This becomes part of the reality practice. So it becomes a the theory for the policy formations and you try to implement the policies you will be able to see that uh, the edifice of this theory reflections in energy in terms of uh, developing the resources or even for instance developing the scientific educational manpower in implementing the very idea of industrialization and the urbanization okay so the next is that we are going to look at the, what is how this entire metaphors or how this entire edifice creates a kind of a violence. What is the very idea of violence? violence, how the violence is being created. As I said, it is a kind of an, the violence, an unrest, unrest in the society or the violence in terms of uh, referring uh, to a kind of a discontent as well as the dissatisfaction. Basically, this violence in terms of we try to understand it in a vivisectionist understanding.
sections in this time. Number one is that one of the biggest sections is to view of the society. Okay. Uh, the, on the one hand, society is basically considered as a laboratory. Within the society, individuals have become the subject of experimentation. Subject of experimentations within the laboratory. Okay. And this leads to a kind of a violence. Okay. So the very idea of uh, how this experimentation happens, how the very process of an experimentation happens. So experimentation happens within the society. Okay. So the experimentation is rest on the the scientific laws. Scientific laws. Okay. So for the first, uh, the scientific law, which is being tried to understand it in terms of a Newtonian understanding. Newtonian understanding, followed by the laws of thermodynamics. The laws of thermodynamics. The first idea of what is that Newtonian scientific laws which deals with this? It deals with three fundamental aspects. One is that it deals with the very idea of an object. The second one is about the force. The third one is about the change. That means an object stays in the same position unless you give a force. Suppose if you give a force to an object and then the object is going to change. Unless you don't give a force, the, the object stays as it is. The similarly, what is happening is that when you give the force, as much as it depends on the force, how far the object is going to move. So that depends on the power of the force that change the position of the object. So when it happens, and there is a kind of an equal and opposite reaction. So this is a very fundamental understanding. Okay. So you apply the same principle in, in, in trying to transform the nation state. For instance, you look at the object as a kind of a nation state. You look at the object of the nation state. The force is that you need the resources. So the resources here is that it depends on what kind of how much the capabilities and the capacities. That's the resources here is refers to the capacities and the capabilities. So if you have a kind of a higher level of a capacity and the capability, you will be able to use as a kind of a force to change the nation states. When you move this, use these resources, automatically the development happens. However, this Newtonian principle is rest on the understanding of the laws of the thermodynamics. The laws of thermodynamics works with or functions with a kind of a different set of variables. One is work. The second one is efficiency. The third one is about the power. And the fourth one is about the machine. So the work, efficiency, power and the mission is connected to the very idea of energy. Energy. So I translate here is that. I, I bring this argument here. So if you the, the running the mission, okay. How much of an amount of energy is required to run a machine. How much of an 
how much amount of how much amount of how much amount of energy is required to run a machine okay this is the basic understanding suppose if i want to run a fan how much of an energy is required or electricity is required to run the fan similarly if i want to run the industry suppose if i want to run the industry that industry can be a kind of a heavy industries for instance Suppose if I want to uh, like run the heavy industries like the steel, aluminium, or kind of cement factories. So the heavy industries, if I want to run the heavy industries or run the industry, how much of an amount of an energy is required? So I need to produce equal amount of an energy to run the specific industry. So unless I don't produce the equal amount of an energy, and I am not able to run the industry at all. So this. Has become a kind of a principle. This has become a kind of a principle which we try to derive it from the laws of thermodynamics. That means uh, the, the the energy should be highly efficient. The very idea is that it should be highly efficient. At the same time, it should be a macro level power. At the same time, the work. Am I able to complete the work within a stipulated given period of a time or not? So this all metaphors, this all variables has become part of the development agenda. I translate this entire idea as that in terms of an equation, energy is always equal to the power into time. Power into time. What I refer here is that what is what is referred here energy as the nation's nation's capacity and capability. What is power here is that the power is always refers to the resources. It's not only the resources, the resources which we burn every day. The resources which are being burned. What is time frame look as that? It's a speed. In the speed and efficiency. So if you want to convert this into a reality of development development agenda or a development program so i always look at what is the capacity of a nation state and how far the capacity is decided by the resources the resources into one time time framework in terms of a speed i normally refer to the time in terms of a speed as well as the distance that with a kind of an understanding the efficiency itself efficiency am i able to travel am i able to like run at this particular speed to cross a particular distance or not so that becomes a kind of a development what is the very notion of this is that that development we try to understand in terms of a comparative sense in terms of a comparative sense. What is this comparative sense is that you try to create a kind of a different set of a world, different set of a world. That different set of a world is that it's a developed and then for instance developed, developing and underdeveloped. So when the state or when the nation which is exactly located at the underdevelopment, it wants to reach the position of the developed and it has to be realize the notion of energy. The notion of energy. That means how much an energy should I have? Okay, so that I will be able to reach the position of the developed. For instance, in a normal, very, very kind of a normal level of an understanding is that uh, a very normal understanding is that. Uh, uh, we try to look at in an everyday life, in a, in a kind of a more in a kind of an everyday life is this uh, comparative between two different individuals or the two, two different families. Uh, we always we have this discussion. The discussion is that uh, you know that uh, you look at that other family. Okay, uh, they are having car, Bangalore, or a kind of a uh, uh, house, old house and then TV, mixing and everything they have the material sense 
on the other side you see the comparison which happens there you, you know they are developed then on the other hand the comparison happens there which you we others which they don't have anything they, they don't have a car or a kind of a, a bungalow or a kind of a own house flat or material things so this becomes a kind of a comparative if you translate that into an higher order thinking or into a macro level thinking this is what it is we always we try to imitate we try to imitate what the other has developed what the other has developed so so the other here which always refers to the western countries so the western countries have tried to reach a certain position of development and in the process the developing as well as the underdeveloped country is supposed to reach that position this debate this this create a kind of a debate between self versus other self versus other within uh, within within the understanding of the large in the understanding of science energy and uh, development so the self is it always refers to be one the it is the other is always the third person the second person okay the second person and this the overall idea of trying to look at a development as a kind of a technocratic project so if you look at that where this idea comes that the technocracy the very idea of the technocracy refers to this interpretations refers to this interpretation of the subject of experience where the very idea of the experimentation comes where the idea of a development comes from okay and what is the consequences of the development who is experiment who is actually the uh, scientist or that uh, or who is those people who are try to uh, do a kind of an experimentation is that it's a kind of an interrelations it's a contractual relations between different set of groups uh, it may be a kind of an industry it may be it's a kind of an relations in the industry or kind of an scientific communities it also includes the social scientists so all people or a kind of it's a knowledge input always remember that it's a kind of an knowledge inputs through the knowledge inputs we want to develop the society but the consequences what is this theory assumption is that the violence unrest or discontent uh, is all are also day by day which is increasing so always keep this in mind that development is not only we are trying to look at